Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Norwegian United Daily, and I like to try, out, try to bring out Leeds United content on a daily basis. And I'm just going to introduce myself to, to everybody who's recently joined because obviously there is a there is a few people who are questioning who I am or what the purpose behind this channel is. So I try to bring out Leeds United content on a daily basis. I try to bring out unbiased uh, views on Leeds United, whether that's with transfers, whether that's manager sackings, whether that's just match reviews, post match reviews, and 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 the list goes on. And I, I like to try and bring out a different perspective i've got no uh, problem listening to other league united content creators but at the same time if i do disagree with something i may say it in the videos i never go out of my way to to be horrible about an opinion and this is what this channel is all about is, is to be able to build a positive community where you guys can come on here rant your rage and uh, in, in more in a sense of a respectable way because obviously if there is anything really toxic anything really negative then I'm going to block you. But that's not me saying that you can't voice your opinion. Just make it respectful, you know, because then we can keep this community a a, a free zone of toxicity and we can make and we can build the, the forum to, to be something well. And as well, I'm going to be implementing something uh, into the channel, what, like charity work, uh, raising money for charity. There'll be lots of giveaways. Obviously, there's going to be a new giveaway at 1.5k, so stay tuned for that. There'll be three winners for that. So, And then every 1,000 uh, every thousand subscribers from 2,000 subscribers will be getting uh, bigger and better giveaways, whether that's money giveaways, whether that's ticket giveaways, whether that's uh, merchandise, whether that's something to do with Leeds United in general. That's going to be what's going to be implemented on, on the channel. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There will be a, a charity video that I'm going to be doing um, I put it on my poll and there was a lot of responses. I think about 165 votes and about uh, about 67 or 68 percent that said yes, who would support me. And it's pretty much I want to raise money for uh, mental awareness because obviously, if you didn't know, I do suffer with uh, bad anxiety and 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 doing videos like this, it's building my confidence, it's building my uh, self-esteem and, and I guess just getting myself out of my comfort zone. So mental health is uh, very close to my heart. I don't really want to go into it too much, but. Uh, it's 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 going to be a, a climb of a, a, a thousand and forty six feet a mountain or hill, what you want to call it, and I'm going to try uh, raise about a thousand pounds for for a mental health charity in Leeds. So if you are new around here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I try to bring out uh, content on a daily basis. And as you can tell by today's title, we're going to be talking about Rodrigo. We're going to be talking about Patrick Bamford's future, and I guess do we miss him? And I think the answer is quite clear, isn't it? Because I mean, when Patrick Bamford uh, first started. Uh, scoring goals in his first ever season under Marcelo Bielsa and we brought in the record signing of Rodrigo for about was it about 20 or 30 million euros something like that and Patrick Bamford was he scored 16 or 17 goals in the first uh, season back in the Premier League and we didn't really uh, get to see much of Rodrigo he was playing more so in the number 10 position and, and to me I don't really think he's a, he's a number 10 I feel like he's more of a more out of a, a, a poacher or a centre forward and uh, there was a lot of Leeds United fans, including myself, who who came out and said that we didn't want to see Rodrigo, or we we was missing Bamford because obviously he, the amount of stuff he does off the ball, off the uh, pressing, off the ball, uh, making uh, play happen, dropping to midfield, and I've always said that uh, Bam Bamford is more of a a, a deep line centre forward where he'll drop back into midfield, he'll let the attackers uh, go. Uh, drive into the final third and he'll pick a pass whereas like Rodrigo is more of a, a a guy who floats around and gets into the right positions and he's proven that this season Jesse Marsh did a great job to to get the best out of Rodrigo what Marcelo Bielsa didn't do and this is why I always say it's like there's there's always positives in a manager and I felt like there were positives under Jesse Marsh's system but the only thing that I didn't really like about him was his stubbornness it's similar to Bielsa and all I ever said was that if Jesse Marsh had um, changed his his tactics a little bit and changed his philosophy and, uh, and tweaked it a little bit, I felt like Jesse Marsh could have improved the team. Fair enough, he, he couldn't have helped some of the chances that Leeds United had and we couldn't finish him off. And this is where we need, it, where we need now uh, Rodrigo, but unfortunately, I think he's still injured. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. I know there was speculation he was going to be out for until, was it, was it March? End of March, I believe. So we've still got over a month to go until he comes back. And with him scoring, was it about 12, 13 goals this season? And Patrick Bamford, I think he's only scored like two or three goals this season. I feel like he's proved us so wrong. I mean, I did a video a couple of months ago saying that Rodrigo isn't the man, or I said 
uh, is Rodrigo the man for Leeds United to take us forward? And I said, no, I said that Patrick Bamford, with, with how he plays off the ball and what he does on the ball, I felt like Patrick Bamford was the guy for us. But unfortunately, he's proven us right. A lot of Leeds United fans have, uh, are right in the sense saying that they didn't want to see Patrick Bamford. And even the people who were subscribed a long time ago on my channel even said to me that Patrick Bamford is done. Patrick Bamford doesn't deserve to be the first team. Rodrigo deserves to be in the first team. And for the next couple of seasons, they wanted Rodrigo. And I disagreed with that. And now <laughs> I'm eating my own words. We're not really scoring any goals now. Rodrigo, we're missing him. He's out injured. And to me, if if he wasn't to get played against Accrington Stanley, he would just be still playing. And we don't know how many goals he could have got. He could have he could have helped uh, solidify a win or, or a draw against uh, against Everton. We could have picked up points against um, Southampton next week or at the weekend if he was in this team. You know, so it's I guess it's just all what what ifs and buts and hows and all this type of stuff, isn't it? So to me, I really do miss Rodrigo with with how poor uh, Patrick Bamford is doing at the moment. It's just, I don't know, he just seems to be lacking a lot of confidence. He doesn't seem to be understanding the roles with Skabal. He didn't really seem to understand much uh, under uh, Jesse Marsh. And I think as well, like I don't want to sit here and just like him off because obviously he is still a top striker. He's playing uh, in the biggest league in the world. But to me, I feel like I think Rodrigo is is the man for us in the next couple of seasons, don't you? Anyway, guys, comment down below what you think about Rodrigo. Do you think he would be the perfect fit for us going forward? Or do you think we should bring in a, a new striker?